that the live stream, my students helping me take my hair out, which had people saying this was inappropriate and other people saying this was completely fine, there was nothing wrong. <laughs> Yo, YK, W, T, F, G, O, man. You got Jay here, and we are back. We're back for another episode of the EC News, man. And today, uh, this one, this topic has been all over social media over the past couple of days. There's this video circulating online of this teacher getting his hair taken out by some of the young ladies in his class or at his school. Now, a lot of people have come to the comments and stated that this is a d disgusting, this is a disgrace, and that he shouldn't be doing this. Now, Cardi B decided to give her take on the situation, so you know we had to show y'all that. But before we get into all this content, y'all go ahead, press subscribe, y'all press like, comment down below, and y'all distribute this video. Share this video to all your friends and all your family, because I need to know what y'all think about it. Go ahead, watch these videos, then I'll come back with my opinion at the end. The things that you would do as a teenager or as a grown-up, you just don't want to see your daughter do or actually take uh partake in now i'm seeing that the teacher might get fired i don't think he should get fired because you know what um this is the thing we're lacking teachers right now we're lacking teachers right now there's another teacher that came out on tiktok talking about that like there's like a literacy crisis going on right now and to be honest with you like there is so much ways now to make money like Social media has allowed people to make money the more uh, a way easier way that there's not a lot of people that want to become teachers. Like, first of all, like um, teachers don't get paid good and nobody want to deal with your fucking kids, to be honest with you. Like these kids nowadays, they're bad. They be hitting the teachers. They be beating the teachers. And um, some kids are so addicted to their in school. They don't want to pay attention. So um, as you could see in the video, you could tell that the, that the girls really like their teacher. So that means their classmates like their teacher. And when you like your teacher, it makes you want to pay attention more in class. And it makes you want to do better in class. Like when you have a favorite teacher, it encourages you to go to that class and to like it. So I don't think he should get fired because he probably has a good relationship with his students. And when you have a good relationship with their students, it makes kids enjoy the class. And it makes kids want to go to the class. Um, so should he get fired? I don't think he should get fired. Maybe, like, you know, like, probably have a little talk and everything. I understand both sides of the coins because, like I said, I'm a, I'm a mother to, to a daughter. So, certain things I wouldn't want to see my daughter do. But then again, too, maybe we're thinking, overly thinking too much. When I was growing up, braids have always been a thing. But, like, let's be real. Like, in the early 2000s. Every girl wanted to learn how to braid. Like, we ain't had no phone, no nothing. Even I know how to braid. Like, y'all might not know this, but even I know how to braid. And, like, we would practically practice to do braids on anybody. Like, I would, I would braid anybody here or if they allow me to. Like, if my teachers... My teachers would let me braid their hair and uh, do their shit, I would have probably done it too. So, um, I don't think the teachers should get fired. Because clearly, um, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I don't think the teacher should get fired because clearly you could tell that um, they get along with the teachers. And right now, we don't really have a lot of people that want to teach right now. And we having like, uh, like, uh, what is it? A fucking uh, literacy issue crisis in America. So I think we're very, very, very... Um, we 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 need our teachers right now. I don't think he should get fired, especially in the middle of the year and everything. Um, I personally don't think so. I feel like he deserves another chance. I do see India's point too because like I have a daughter and certain things like when you think about it, it's like hmm, would I want my daughter to be doing this, this and that? I personally wouldn't, but like then again, like you know, like kids. <laughs> they do things without thinking too much or like sometimes it's not a, a big thing so if the school district is seeing this video i think you guys shouldn't fire him give him another chance you know what i'm saying because clearly the the students like him and when you like and 
When students like a teacher, they're more interested in class. They want to pay attention in class. They want to make their teachers more proud. They don't want to put their, their um, teachers down and everything. But, you know, this is also like a, a lesson to some teachers. Like, it's like, don't be doing too much for TikTok. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't do too much for TikTok. Don't do too much for social media because there's a type of trouble that y'all will get. And not everybody's going to have that point, that good point of view, you know? All righty. Well, y'all have seen Cardi's take on it all. So now, let's really sit back and think about how this makes us feel. As we can see, we have a teacher here, possibly in his late 20s, early 30s. And we see a few of his female students are reaching in his head, taking his braids out, um, because he stated that he had a hair appointment directly after school. Now, to be honest with you, the only reason that this is a problem is unfortunately because of the actions of a lot of weird and crazy people in the past, probably. Which is not wrong to feel, especially if we're just being precautious and trying to prevent something from happening in the future, as opposed to just letting it happen. But to be honest with you, in this instance, you kind of got to look at it a little bit deeper. Without context, yes, it maybe looks crazy. But when you think about it in the aspect and the way that Cardi explained Little girls love to do hair. They love to do makeup. They love to do hair, nails. That's just who they are. So nine times out of 10, they're doing this, having fun. Now, this is the thing that I had to ask myself, being that I do have a daughter as well. Would I be comfortable if I saw a man's live stream and saw my daughter, one, on the man's live stream, and number two, playing in his hair or taking his hair out? At first, you're very apprehensive. I can't sit here and act like my initial reaction wouldn't be surprised or at least like what's going on here. But that's when you have to reel it back in and really think into it all logically in the aspect of what if this eventually led to a business for my daughter? What if this is a passion or something that she actually loves or enjoys doing? We sometimes have to separate our own crazy minds and sometimes actually pay attention to the facts at hand. Now, this is where y'all join the conversation. Y'all have to let me know down in the comments. Is this something that we should look a little further into? Is this something that y'all would trip if y'all saw y'all daughters doing? Or is it all good? Y'all let me know down in the comments. Y'all press like, y'all press subscribe, and y'all share this video to all your friends and all your family. Because I love and appreciate y'all, man. We'll be back for the next episode.